Hey YouTube, this is Thomas Fam here with another RPG Maker tutorial, but in this video I kind of want to talk about optimizations and why it's important to you. In my opinion, I think that there are three different types of optimizations that you could do with RPG Maker, one of them being the easiest of what's actually on your viewport. Now, your viewport is basically what you could see on your phone and on your device. Now, if you have a lot of events, a lot of pictures and particles, a lot of tinting effects, and different stuff that's going on on your screen, then of course your phone has to interpret all of that stuff and hopefully try to process that in a timely manner. Now, if you don't have a very good phone, that's going to be a problem. And that's why you want to try to optimize it so even your lower end devices could play your game so you have more broad audience. So the second kind of optimizations that you could perform are within coding and within scripting. Now, if you're not much of a coder, you don't have to worry too much about that, but that means you'd be limited onto what scripts that you could actually download and use at the time that you're trying to develop your application. So let's talk about that for a little bit. One of the things that you can do to increase performance of your game is to lower the native resolution of your game altogether. You don't necessarily need a 4K display, or you don't need to render a 1440p resolution. You could probably get away with anything less than Quad HD, and I could guarantee you that's always going to make a huge performance difference when you're trying to run your application. And there's definitely a script that you could use to accomplish this. If you look into Yanfly's website, you could download his core mod and install it and essentially change your resolution. It's really easy. In fact, I already have it installed. You just need to double click on the resolution and change it to whatever resolution that you want. I just chose whatever res resolution my phone was and I divided the number by four. So I have a real downscaled version of what the game will look like in this particular resolution. Now, keep in mind, if you do do this, everything's going to look a little stretched. In fact, I could probably show you right now. So you can see that the project itself is already pretty small, but watch what happens when I full screen this you can kind of see that the character is much larger than normal, and even the menus are cut off a bit. You definitely need to find the perfect resolution for you and your device, so you could use this on your projects. And really, you want to adjust the resolution of your project in the very beginning, and continue to work on your project in that resolution. If you try to convert your resolution after the fact, a lot of your pictures and stuff will not line up, so definitely keep that in mind. But now let's talk about the third and last thing that I think can affect the way that your program runs. The development environment is the final thing that can really make a difference in how your game runs on your device. Your development environment needs to convert your RPG Maker file into whatever package that you want it to. So some programs do it better than others and depending on how you did your work will determine how the IDE will convert your project. So Maybe your projects work better on Cocoon.js versus my projects, which don't use a lot of effects and all that stuff, will work better with XDK. You should experiment with it to see what works best with you. But for now, I think you should remember a few tips. One, make sure your viewport isn't too cluttered. Don't go crazy with the pictures and particles, of course. And then two, lower your resolution. And three, choose your favorite IDE. Optimization is a growing art form. I'm sure as time goes on, there will be different techniques that we'll be able to use. And when that time comes, I'll see if I could update you the best I could. Thanks for watching.